Your eyes were dimmed lights of a broken heart. When I saw you, I saw my own reflection. Once, long ago, a bringer of honest love, then broken at the heart of hearts by the world of fog. The priorities were all inverted, you see. The complex was made simple, the simple too complex to handle. Repulsion was called love, and love became repulsive. At the center of your world, you remained, surviving for whatever it was, forgotten long ago, for something that would never come by, but always surviving, holding on. Instinct or intangible premonition. Your cage was my cage. Yours made of bricks and metal, mine made of fears and dishonesty. Perhaps if we both could have, we would have run away. But then again, no. Our cages had been open for so long that we came to see them as just as closed. The way out became just another wall. I was stuck in my own mud deflecting away that stare continuously coming from the mirror that is at the core of every living, evading the consequence of peeking into my own disgraced condition. But I could not evade your eyes, your dim, foggy, broken eyes. From those, there was no escape. My eyes met yours, and I sensed that something was different, I did not know or could not yet realize what, but it was undeniably there. So I was set before a choice, to walk a rope with no safety netting. Would there still be any courage to do so left in me? I did it. I made the right choice. I took to walking the rope with you. And if ever I was to think that the idea was to be able to reach the other side of the rope, that soon vanished. I was supposed to fall from it and die several times, only to come back up, each time cleaner, each time clearer, each time with less baggage on my shoulders. I did it with you. I fell willingly for your eyes and for your heart, as I knew they were showing me who I am and how I was. As I carried you, fed you, loved you with the self-sacrifice love requires in this place. For in hell, hate and filth are virtues and treasures, but love is torture. As I loved you, I loved myself, and love re-emerged within me and around me like a ghost a wonderful ghost that came back to haunt me from a purer source out of my oblivion. You saved me. Maybe that was what made you hold on to survival, even when your world shrank to a mere cube of hard walls and cold metal grating. Maybe you were already loving me before you even knew I existed in here and you sacrificed by holding on until you did know me. Maybe you sacrificed that because you knew long before anyone hurt you and abandoned you, and even before you abandoned yourself, that love here is sacrifice. You would be found, you probably knew, not to be brought back by those who left you behind and hurt you, as I know you always wondered what wrong you had done to be deserving of your abandonment. But by a wandering heart that, albeit originally pure, had been painted over with several coats of self-deceit. You did nothing wrong. You never deserved your abandonment. But this is hell and love hurts the living. Yet love also brings them back to life from death. And, like you, I made myself worthy, deserving 
of your simple introvert love. You saved me. You brought me back from death. It took you two and a half years to undo the knots I tightened on myself for decades. Only you could have done it. You and Anna who found you and brought me to you. But you were the key for my heart, my true heart, to awaken. With you by my side, with the inspiration of what you kindled in me, I started sharing my contemplations with others on the internet. For such was the majesty of the realizations that poured on me that I should not keep them for myself. I would, of course, give them away like you gave everything away for love, despite everything that had been taken from you by the dishonesty of this world. At last, in only a few days, this world finally took the last thing it had left behind, still in you, after all its years of pillaging your heart. It finally took your survival. And even though you were in pain, you waited for me, for my hands to touch you, before you could let yourself go. Nothing can express the honor, nor could I ever hope for any other kind of demonstration of your love than that. My savior, my droopy-eared angel, my broken-hearted teacher, your passing broke my heart, but only because it could not contain the love you taught back into me. Thank you, Boo. I will strive to remain worthy of your love.